Hey everyone, welcome back for episode three of Full Swing Sessions. Today we're gonna to walk you through how to line up shots on your Full Swing Simulator. Let's get started. When we're setting up a shot on our Full Swing Simulator, the first thing we have to do is make sure our eye on camera is locked in with the ball. Now currently I have no ball on the hitting mat, so if you look up at the screen, top center, it's gonna read ball not detected. When you go ahead and add a ball to the hitting mat, right in the center, Directly below the camera, you're also going to notice that it changes to full swing simulators with a green check mark. From here, we'll know we're okay to go ahead and hit, and it's going to detect all that data in our shot. Once our ball is placed in the center of the hitting mat, it'll lock in with our eye on camera. You have approximately just over two feet in diameter around the ball in which the eye on camera will lock in and still connect with the system. Once you see the check mark on the screen, you can go ahead and take your shot. Next, we'll have our aiming box on the upper right hand of the screen. This gives the option for you to change the position which you're aiming towards your shot. So if you tap, you'll move the white and red stick to a different spot and then you can just click OK and it's going to change the aim view. Or you can take it back on the fairway, move it up and down, and change the position. Once you tap and hold, you'll also notice in the upper left screen, it'll tell you the distance to that position you have set currently 257.2 to the stick, and then it'll also tell you the position that you have from that next shot if you were to hit it directly to that stick. So 125.8 yards to the pin from there. Our default settings when you start the round, it's gonna aim you towards the center of the fairway. Sometimes you'll need to aim around trees, bunkers, water, other hazards, and that's when this tool can come in handy. So you can tap and aim to different directions. All right, everyone, that's going to wrap up episode three of Full Swing Sessions. Thank you so much for tuning in, and be sure to leave any questions, comments, or training ideas in the box below. Subscribe to our channel, and be sure to follow us at Full Swing Simulators. See you next week.